Hell guys, everybody want to know why I like driving this old Volvo? I'm going to show you. What I do, I haul a lot of weight, and that truck's heavy. I go into some tight places, and that truck's big. Uh, there's a lot of good reasons why. And uh, But I'm going to get it out. I'm going to start driving it. The uh, W9. I'm gonna see how I like it and all that stuff. So, oh, the crap you get into when you don't say no. Good looking trailer. What? That's a good looking trailer. That's pretty good, yeah. I got one just like it actually. Uh -oh. I don't think this thing's been pulled in a while. Let's see if we can hook up and get it out of here. Oh Lord. Yeah, that's pretty Back up under it, guys. I think this is going to be an interesting video. First time doing it this way. Plus, y'all get to see why I like using my Volvo over anything else. Come on, baby. We are here. See that road right there? I'd had a heck of a time pulling out of there with that W9 or the Peterbilt. Get this hooked up and get some air to it. been sitting a while. I said, when was the last time it was pulled? Oh, okay. So not too long. I guess it's just like the one I got. Well, guys, it's airing up. We got lights. She's loaded, that's for sure. We'll give it a few minutes to air up and see if we can get out of here with it. Alright guys, we're gonna try it. 
he's got to go up here and block the road where I can get out because it's in a real steep curve. We're in a pretty hairy place. Um, this is a big, big sand blaster is what I'm pulling. Uh, he does sand blasting. So, uh, we're going to take it down there. He's going to sand blast a big tank, big water tank. When we get down there, I'll show you guys about all that. This is a cool deal here. So, uh, we'll see if we can't get out of here. All right, guys, here we go. Let's say it's been sitting, so I don't know if the brakes are going to release or not. It's heavy. It's definitely heavy. Oh, there we go. We're rolling. I checked all the air and the tires and all that stuff. I didn't get to video that, but I did get to do it. Oh, it's a big load here. Set between 40 and 50,000 pounds of cargo, so we'll find out. This thing got the power, so it shouldn't have no problem pulling it. He's gonna go up here and block the road for me. Guys, 
he has got some stories to tell. This is one of the coolest dudes I've met in a while, so God, I'm so glad to be back in the truck. This whole house deal, I ain't been driving a whole lot and ain't been doing much of nothing other than working in the shop. There it is, guys. There's the big water tower. Holy crap. I can't believe he goes up in them things. Swing his baby in here. I think he wants it up there. Yeah, there's his other sand blaster there. I can get it more of an angle if you want me to. Okay. Guys, we made it over here with the step deck. He's going to go inside this thing and sandblast it. Are you going to paint it too? Yeah, sandblast and paint. You climb on big old towers? How do you get the, when you paint the outside, what do you do? Just hang off of them or scaffold? We'll hang off of them, roll around the scaffold, and then we put that tarp, that containment around it. We got lay it on. That's got to be a scary, scary adventure, huh? Andy was saying you uh, painted a bunch of them in small towns and stuff, something. Yeah, over the country. We travel all over. I paint one for City of Johnson City up by right now. I've got one painting, just finished one up in Georgetown, South Carolina. I've got another crew over in TGK, South Carolina, right now. Oh, oh we do. I've been doing it for about since 1978. Oh, is there a lot of people that does it? Or? Oh, yeah. There are a lot of people that doesn't. It's getting to be a lot of people. You used to, when I first started, there were very, very few of them. Man, I tell you, that's a, that's a unique job, that's for sure. Well, I'm glad you give us the opportunity to pull your trailer and, and oh, see God, this. I mean, I, I need to get you a card and all that stuff. And that way I can, uh, it's good to have somebody local. See, I've got a guy out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, moves most of my stuff. Well, I go all over the place. There's a lot of deadheads. Yeah. That's kind of the way I am. I'm pretty much the only trucking company around that'll deadhead. That'll, uh, I mean, I pull anything. You know, I don't care about this. That's all I've got. I've got three of these things right here, and, and uh, I've got three drop decks, and that one, that 
one uh, other one you've seen up there? I'd rather not pull uh, for a broker. If I can pull for a man, right. that's the way I pull them. We pull for farmers. We pull for... Uh, I pull a lot of big yachts and stuff and uh, boats and stuff like that. Right. For, you know... You actually deal with a good customer. You do them a good job. They take care of you. And, that's right. Yeah, I'd love the opportunity to pull your your equipment around when you're the other guy you're doing it. Go all over. I've done a job in Garfield, Arkansas. I took one out to Garfield, Arkansas. This year come in from Tip City. Here I've got two crew bunched up on that job up on Johnson City. And I'm going to split them back up here. He's going to come back down here and finish this one. So this is just going to be an inside job? An inside job only on this one. I'm doing one down here at Sweetwater. Oh, that big pretty tank down there? No, the one up on the hill up behind the... Uh... So it will be pretty then. Well, it ain't pretty right now. They're cutting the roof. They cut the roof off of it. Oh. Yeah. The roof was eating completely up on it. They had to cut the roof off of it. They're going to put a big aluminum roof on it. Lord. So we stand still. My boy's down there right now welding a door seat back up here right now. I'll have to go down and check that now. It's up on the hill on Huey Street. Yeah. Yeah, I know where it's at. I used to go up there when I was a teenager. <laughs> That's where it's at. That's what yeah. we're doing. He's got the roof cut off of it right now. It's, it's green right now. We've got the inside finished. But we've not done nothing else to the outside of it until it, it's got scaffold all the way around the outside of it right now. He's got to put a wind girder all the way around the thing to keep the wind from blowing the right. shell in when they put that aluminum roof on it. Man, I bet it gets hot up in there, don't it? Oh, it gets hot. It gets hot. Boy, next time you go out of town or something, let me know. I might pull one for you and go up there and check it out. And we I ain't afraid of work. We do a lot of fancy rigs. We do. We put we put a lot of writing and fancy logos on the outside. Of this thing. Oh, so you do logos and everything? Oh, yeah, we do it all. Now, are them sticker logos usually, or do you we paint them paint. on? And paint. I bet that's got to be spooky hanging from one of them big old towers. Uh, this year's a little short in here. They get up about 300 foot, they get a little nervous. Whew. You get up there, they move back and forth and oh, stuff? Yeah, they move back and forth. Yeah, they do. Man, I bet I could talk to you all day about the stuff I'm telling you. See, we just done one up here for Madisonville. For Madisonville, like, they cut it down. It was eat up with rust. They cut it down and put a fiberglass tank back in. Oh, shoot. Yep, I just got done. Matter of fact, I just got done with it. Is that all aluminum there? That's aluminum paint. Oh, okay. That's, all, that's steel tank. It's aluminum paint. Oh, okay. Yep. How long does that paint last on them? Uh, they last 20, 30 years. Man. So there's always got to be somebody doing it because everybody got to have water. You got to have water to live, but. So, is them, how, I've always wondered on the inside of them. How does it work? So does it just old water come up in it and it circulates in it and they got a altitude valve down here at the bottom. It is it'll tell it it's got a control, it'll tell it when to fill it up. They'll put water in it to fill it, and then it'll tell it when it gets full. When it gets full that altitude valve will turn the other way and it takes sends it out to the customer. And then it goes to the customer and then they filter it and all that stuff and no, it's done filtered. When it comes out of here, you have to drink in water. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. It's clean. When it goes in there, it's clean. It's clean as a pen. And when it comes back out, it's drinking water. Oh, yeah. Is there any kind of filtration up in there? Or? No. So it's just a big filtration plant or filtration plant up here at City yeah. of Madison or City of Madisonville. Oh, I didn't they, know that. They go through the treatment. They go through, through the treatment. See, they treat it, put chlorine in it, and everything. How many gallons that thing hold? It's 300,000 gallons here. Whew. We're doing a 2 million gallon in Johnson City. So does that water, does it come from, uh, so I guess they got pipe running all the way to town then and stuff. They've got pipes running. I, I, I don't know how many miles they've got. So the only place this one's got water is that center riser. That's riser. That's the uh, yep. riser. Then up there in the tank. That's, that's crazy how they can get it up in there. Oh, yeah. They pump her up in there. Got a big pump on it? Yep. Because that's straight up. I mean, that's... 
Yeah, yeah it's about this and yours about 125 foot tall here. Well, that's a. <laughs> I've always wondered about it. Cause you see it on the movies and stuff where they get in them tanks and it's swirling around and yeah. now they just empty it out for you and then. They got it, they empty it right now. They, they don't know where they've got it from empty cause water's still coming out of that fall hydrant. Nobody, they don't know. They may have a valve stuck open right now. I've got to come back tomorrow and open the, open the manhole up on it. And uh, he's gone now to get me a key. Where do you climb up at that? Ladder right over there. See all them cables on that? Yeah. Leg over yonder? Yeah. There's a ladder on that leg. leg. You can go up the outside, and then when I take this center hatch off the bottom down here, there'll be a ladder that goes up that right into the inside well. So you can climb up on the inside? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid of heights. Well, I'd say I'd like to go up there and check it out, but I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, but I've got to make a living. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I just stick to hauling my trailers around, I guess. <laughs> no, I ain't scared of heights. If I was, I, I ain't as nervous as I used to be. Though. I fly. I got fly airplane and stuff, but uh, little airplanes. I don't like being in the big airplanes, but I'll fly myself around, and uh, I ain't got no problems. I'll get an airplane and go up anytime you want to go. But if uh, when it comes to getting up high, my buddy's got a bucket truck I used and. I was going to climb up in that bucket and clear some trees. And just as soon as it came off the truck, I was, nap, let me out of here. <laughs> I don't know. I've been in so many wrecks and stuff. about killed myself so many times. I flipped so many machines. I just, I'd rather stay on the ground. <laughs> I want to see them put the top on it. Big helicopter. It'd have to be one of them big double blade deals, wouldn't it? Guys, we're down here looking at this job. I'm gonna clean this lot up. We're putting a new roof on top of this water tank. And uh, paint. they painted the inside of it, sandblasted it, and they're putting a new roof on, on it. The roof was rusted out, so they're putting a big aluminum roof on it. We gotta get rid of all this sand and clean these ruts up, and clean this lot up. So it's down here looking at the job. I figured this would be a good time to finish off the video for today. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, Tell me what you guys think in the comments of this guy and this what he does. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave us a comment and subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. Turn that bell on for a notification for our next video. See you guys.